So, who's ready to lick with some more colours? <laughs> Welcome back. It is time for the second episode of TBR Clue. I'm so excited. This is quickly becoming the highlight of the month for me in terms of... Is that an Amazon delivery? <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? This is quickly becoming for me the yeah. highlight of all my videos. I absolutely love making TBR Kudo. It's quickly becoming like my favorite thing to make. I've got a scrunchie on my hand. Let me take that off. <laughs> this is our second month. If you want to know all the rules, if you don't know all the rules, I will leave the first video linked down below last month where I go through all the rules of everything. But if you already know, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, they love you. So we've got quite a lot of housekeeping to get through. I'm gonna try and go through it quick, but we all know that's not especially my speciality. Um, <laughs> if you don't already know, if you didn't see the announcement last night, I have started a Patreon. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have wanted to start a Patreon for so long to kind of have that like close knit community on there but I wanted to do it at a time when I could really give it my all and like make it worth people's money because you know I I, I wouldn't want to do it at a time when I was half-assing it whereas now I feel like there's so many cool things we're going to be doing on there together and I'm just so excited so I'll leave the announcement video for that link down below and my Patreon if you just want to go check that out. I, I launched it last night and I'm already overwhelmed at how many people have signed up. I really it was gone beyond kind of my wildest dreams for what I was hoping for and I'm just so excited to go kind of get to know everyone better and to just have fun. We have a discord, we have a weekly live reading sprints, we have a book club, a podcast and there's quite a few elements of it that actually relate to TBR Cluedo so that's kind of the main reason I'm mentioning it because it changes some parts of TBR Cluedo. So you may remember last month I showed you the rose weapon and I was like my lips are sealed. I can't tell you what that is yet. Well, now I can. So basically the rose weapon, if I land on that in TBR Cluedo, I will pick a random book out of this tin. And this tin is gonna be filled with book recommendations from all my Patreons. So all tiers have this option. When you join, you can pick two books off of my own TBR and recommend them to me. And then if I land on the rose prompt, I pick a book out of here. So I can't do that in this round because obviously we haven't had time to like get everyone's um, books in that they want to recommend. But from next month, we will be able to do the rose prompt. I'm really excited to see like what kind of books you guys pick the most from my own TBR that you want me to read. It's going to be really interesting to see. So that is what the rose prompt is. Is. Also, those in my Lux and Rora tier, they're named after my cats, <laughs> so those in my top two tiers can participate in the book club and the way we're going to decide what book we read for the book club is, is that one out of the six roles every month will be voted on by my patrons. So one of the roles I will pick to be voted on by you guys, I will pick four books that we could possibly read for the book club and you'll vote on it um, and that will determine one round of TBR Cluedo. That is in your hands, it's out of my hands. Well, I can pick four books, but other than that, it's out of my hands. <laughs> anyway, so I'm in control, but I'm out of control and I'm also um, controlled. So in a way, I'm everything. And if you're in the top tier, if you're in the raw tier, when you join, I'll send you a handwritten thank you letter, but it will also come with two of the TBR Cluedo books. So these lovely little books that we all love, <laughs> I will send you two of them along with your letter if you're in the top tier. A lot of you say they look like candy and I agree, one day I will make candies, but as of now you can have the actual books if you want, basically. So yeah, that is everything kind of to do with TBR Cluedo that is happening on my Patreon. If you want to read about it all, I'll leave it linked down below. I've already been speaking for six minutes, so we've got to hurry this up a bit. What else do we have to talk about before we get into the roles? Oh, we decided that the punishment is if I have one role that I can't reach a prompt on that adds a book to my TBR. I was originally thinking like three, but that's that, that quickly became clear that wasn't gonna happen. So <laughs> we're gonna do that one roll that I can't reach a prompt on adds a book. So it will go from six books in total to seven books, essentially. Last piece of housekeeping is that I read 
all of my August books. So it was these five books plus an audiobook and I read them all. I'm pretty sure they are all in vlogs. I'll leave those all linked down below if you want to go check them out as well. So no punishments for me. No punishments for me. Okay, let's finally get into the roles, shall we? Let's finally get into the roles. I'm going to take the hat off. <laughs> it's about time! And over to past Megan for roll number one. So first we roll the eight-sided dice to see who we move. Number eight, that is blue. Okay, so we're over here. <laughs> I do have a thriller that I wanna read, but like the prompt could very easily not fit that. Uh, let's see, let's see how many I roll, because that will determine what we do. Okay, so we have got a two and a four. Okay, I can't go very far anyway. What do I do? Oh my God, okay, okay. Can I go one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I can't get to that one. One, two, three, four, five. Ah! Okay, how do I get to one of these? Hang on. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll go for this one. What number is that? That is number 22. That is a title with three words. Okay, thank you, Pass Megan. <laughs> so role number one was a thriller with a title that has three words. For this, I'm picking a book that's actually on its way to me right now. The reason I got excited when I thought there was an Amazon van outside is because it should be coming today. <laughs> but it is They Never Learn. I can't remember who the author is, but it's called They Never Learn. You've probably seen this, like, doing the rounds a bit on BookTube. A lot of people have been reading it, and it's been really popular so far. I believe this is about a professor at a university who's, like, this great professor. She's also great at killing men. Power bitch moves. Let's go. So I think she like tracks down men who are shitty, like the, the most, the terriblest, terriblest, Megan, come on now. The most terrible men <laughs> that are out there, she tracks them down and she kills them and she just keeps doing it and she ain't been caught, bitch. That's all I really know about it, but I'm really excited to read it. I've heard a lot of people say that it's the kind of thriller that I'll enjoy. I do enjoy a bit of a shitty main character, like in a thriller. I think that can be such a fun, Thing for authors to play with and I often think like some of the best thrillers have shitty main characters but that is the first book that we're gonna be reading I'm really excited let me know if you've read it because it has been pretty popular that is roll one let's go see what I get for roll two okay time for roll two number seven is brown where is brown oh brown's here okay I've got a lot of fantasy I want to read this month like I haven't really read any fantasy like pure fantasy for the past two months and I want to read a lot this month so we're gonna try and get in there if we can. <laughs> six okay we can do that I think one two three four five six okay Woo! look how easy that was go me Okay, number three. That is start a new series. Roll two was fantasy, which I was very happy with. A lot of my like planned TBR for other videos, secret, top secret videos this month um, are fantasy. So I was like, please God, like, let me get some people that are close to fantasy so I can move on in there. God has smiled on me. Yes, he has. I got the prompt, start a new series. So the book I've chosen for this is Jade City by Fonda Lee. Now I wasn't like, listen, I wasn't over the moon <laughs> when I got start a new series because as maybe you know, I'm currently reading a lot of series. Let me actually put a screen recording of my, like all my series I'm in the middle of spreadsheet. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. Like, you guys, it's pretty bad. Um, so I'm trying to finish off some series before I start some more. But I am very excited to read this. I've heard so many good things about it. I believe this is this fantasy world where Jade is like, how people get their power and I think it's mafia families basically who are all trying to like get the jade and be in control of the jade. I've heard so many good things. This was super big on booktube but it kind of is still but I remember it kind of kicked off last year towards the end of last year. I'm intimidated because it's long. It's pretty long. Pretty, pretty small, small font if I do things things like myself. myself. But I've heard so many good things I'm hoping I'm gonna fly through it. So yeah Jade City is on my TBR for this month. Okay next roll. Let's see if we get this one this time. 
two. That is purple. Where is purple? Oh, well. <laughs> I do have a few historical books actually this month, so maybe that, that would be good. I can't pick the rose yet because I haven't got the recommendations. Five, okay. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go there. So that, oh, oh my God. So that is 24 or 29. No, this is 29. A book, <laughs> 29 is a book one of my cats would enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so roll three was a historical book that one of my cats would enjoy. You can tell that by the end of like 28, 29, 30, I was starting to run out of prompts, <laughs> like prompt ideas for this. I have chosen The Spirit Engineer by AJ West. This is an arc I have of it. I am so excited to read this. I've picked this for Rora, Queen Rora, my oldest cat. She likes dark shit. She's a mean girl. <laughs> So, like, Miko I always see as, like, non-fiction, you know, he wants to explore the world. Lux I always see as contemporary romance, he's a bit of a soft boy. Rora likes thrillers, mystery, horror, anything with a bit of grit to it. That's what she likes, because that's who she is. So this is set in uh, Belfast in, like, the 1914. I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a mastermind, what's that? I don't know. 1914 Belfast, and I believe it follows this kind of scientist who's very much a skeptic, but he gets drawn in into the world of like spiritualism and like ghost contacting and the occult, and he starts to believe that that is actually real. This is one of my most anticipated releases of this year. I'm super excited to be reading this. I'm gonna be reading it for the Magical Readathon. I'm gonna have a vlog coming out at some point this month for the Magical Readathon. So I'm very much excited to read it. I, I'm hoping I'm gonna love it so much. Like it just sounds like my perfect kind of book. And as we're getting into kind of the more autumnal months, I think this is gonna be great. This does come out in October, I think at the start of October. So yeah, I am hoping I'm gonna love it. I'm really, really excited. Thank you, Queen Rora, for allowing me to pick this prompt. <laughs> this is roll four. We haven't got a punishment yet, which is good. Whoa. Number four is pink. Where is pink? Oh, up here. Last month I had loads of mysteries to read and this month I don't really have any. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> no. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll go with that one. That is number 25, which is a book that matches my outfit right now when I'm filming. Okay, so round four was a bit of an interesting one. <laughs> it was a mystery that matches the outfit I was wearing when I was doing the TBR Cluedo bit. I filmed it this morning before I got ready, so I was wearing a yellow hoodie. <laughs> it's fashion meets... It's fashion... It's... Excuse me. It's fashion. <laughs> so I had to find a mystery that matched this, which is hard, because I feel like mysteries usually have, like, dark covers, and I had to find a yellow one, but I fucking did it. I fucking did it. I'm so proud of myself. I picked The Bungalow Mystery by Nancy Drew. Look at that. Look at all that yellow. Look at all that yellow. Listen, you can't touch me. I'm untouchable. Look at all that yellow. I love Nancy Drew, okay? I played Nancy Drew a lot when I was a kid, the video games. Who else? We are bad bitches if you played the Nancy Drew games when you were a kid. Not a joke, just a fact. Not a joke, just a fact. Not a joke, just a fact. I've played them recently, like in the last couple of years, and I still really love them. I think they're so much fun. I think it's kind of where my love of mysteries come from. I wasn't planning on reading this this month. It wasn't like in a video or anything. I think I'll just read it on my own, but it's only 180 pages. So like, and this is like the original Nancy Drew book. So I'm reading the ones from like the 1950s, 60s. I don't know when this came out. 1930? I really don't know. Yeah, maybe 1930 sounds right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is the bungalow mystery, which I do know that one of the games, I believe, here's, here, here is my uh, Nancy Drew knowledge. <laughs> I believe the game, The Secret of the Old Clock, combines the first book, The Secret of the Old Clock, 
and oh no maybe it combines number four the mystery at lilac inn i don't know but i'm very excited to read this all the same i just love like cozy mysteries and miss nancy drew just gets me i just it's just nostalgic isn't it by the way if anyone knows where i can get the audiobook for these let a gal know i've looked everywhere they used to be on script I listened to the first two on script and they have like music, sound effects, which I'm a hoe for. And then they deleted them all. They deleted them all. They only have like new ones. I don't care about that. I want the OGs. And they're gone. They're not on Audible. They're not on Libby. They're not on like anything that I can find. So if you know where the original, original, original Nancy Drew books are as audiobooks, let me know because I love them. I know they're in existence. I just can't get them anywhere. <laughs> Next roll to find out who we roll. I want it's a weapon. Oh, number one. Who is number one? Number one is green in contemporary. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seven. Uh. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. Um, one, two, three, four, five. No, that, that's there. The dagger's on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll go for that, which is number 11. Oh, okay, that works out. Number 11 is an ebook or an audiobook. So, round five was actually perfect. It was a contemporary that was an ebook or an audiobook, which I was probably gonna pick anyway. I was gonna probably pick an audiobook because I don't really have many contemporaries that I had to read this month. So, I was already gonna pick an audiobook. So, like, it was just easy. I could pretty much read any contemporary I wanted. So, I have picked Other Words for Home, which I believe is a middle grade. It's only like three hours long, which is part of why I picked it. I got quite a busy reading month this month. So, I didn't wanna pick something like crazy long. So this is about a young girl who I believe has to leave Syria and comes and moves to America and it's about her kind of experience like being in this different country all of a sudden without like I think her father and brother aren't there and just kind of getting used to this like new country and like the struggles that come along with that. I've heard some really good things about it and I'm really excited to read it. This was a good pick for me because it, it's not long. <laughs> it's not long. I picked very much a shorter audiobook, but um, yeah, I, I, it's one I almost read this month, at the end of this month, but I didn't quite finish my current audiobook in time. So I'm glad that I've basically just moved it on to next month. Okay, and time for our last roll, roll six. Time for our last roll. Who have we got? Number seven again. I feel like we've had that person. Brown. Okay, that's another fantasy, which is good, because I have a lot of fantasy, like I said, on my TBR this month. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Where do we go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did it. I did it. That's number one. What is number one? A new to me author. Ooh, what am I gonna pick for that? A new to me author. Another fantasy. And this time it had to be a new to me author and I have picked Song of Wraith and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. Not gonna lie, this is kind of a book where I got it a year ago and I've forgotten what it's about. Let's just uh, forget about that, shall we? <laughs> Could you just cut that out? <laughs> yeah, I believe there is um, very much something to do with like a brother and sister in this and their relationship and this guy and the crown princess of the, the, the you know country, the place they live at, and they're in like a contest? I don't know, that's what I can remember off the top of my head. But I remember everyone really, really enjoying this. He read it, and the second one is now out, so I kinda just wanna like get my way into this series. Yes, I know it's another series I'm starting. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> It's hard, isn't it? It's hard. Series are hard, you guys. Series are hard. Series are hard. <laughs> but yeah, this is the last book that I have picked and it's a new to me author. I've never read from this author before. I believe this was also a debut, but that could be wrong, but I believe this was a debut. Okay, so that is my TBR for September. I've obviously only got four of them physically right now because we've got They Never Learn coming and then other Words for Home, right? Other Words for Home is um, an audiobook. This comes to about 2,100 something pages, 2,173 I think. So that's not too much, but 
Jade City and A Song of Rays and Ruin are both quite long. So I'm a little bit intimidated at them, but I reckon we'll be able to do it. Let me know if you've read any of these books, what you've thought of them. I'd absolutely love to know if you've read any of them and your opinions on them. And also let me know what is on your TBR for the month, what you're going to be reading. I'm super excited to know. And thank you so much for watching TBR Clue Day. I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely love making these. So yeah, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!